Hello and welcome to a quick video on how to install and use OpenSeas MPI. So OpenSeas MPI is a portable MPI for OpenSeas. MPI being uh, the message passing interface. It's how uh, parallel processes interact with each other. Uh, it uses the open source tickle package tickle MPI to um, run OpenSeas in parallel without having to compile a parallel version of OpenSeas. Uh, it does this by leveraging tickle MPI to replicate all the MPI commands of OpenSeas MP. Um, so therefore, it will have the same functionality as using OpenSeas MP other than uh, parallelizing the model domain. And also provides more advanced MPI functionality with the tickle MPI package. Um, so it doesn't parallelize the model domain at all. So if you are running a large model and you want to uh, split up the model domain and parallelize that, you're going to have to use OpenSeas SP or OpenSeas MP for that. So as an OpenSeas MP, um, it has uh, these commands provided, um, such as git PID, git NP, barrier, send and receive. So uh, if you don't know, uh, git PID just returns the integer rank of the process. So if there's like three processes, you have 0, 1, and 2. Um, Get NP returns the total number of parallel processes, so in that case we return the number three. And barrier acts as a kind of a pause where it waits for all the processes to reach that uh, reach a barrier. Um, and it uses the tickle MPI binding barrier. Um, the send command sends data from the current process to um, process PID. Um, and this uses the uh, the similar tickle MPI command, tickle MPI send. Um, just rather than just providing the tickle MPI pack, package and the commands there, I also provided wrapper commands to provide the familiarity with uh, OpenSeas MP commands. Um, so that's why it looks very similar. Um, additionally, it's required in OpenSeas MP to have the dash PID, but I make it optional um, in this case. Um, and uh, the command receive receives data from a process. Um, you can receive data from any process if you want by using, using any for the PID um, or process ID. And uh, this is basically how you communicate between processes and send data. And uh, that's it really. Um, that's all the uh, commands of, tickle, of uh, OpenSeas MPI. Um, obviously, since it uses Tickle MPI, you also have access to all the Tickle MPI commands. Um, their syntax is uh, uh, documented at the on the Tickle MPI uh, GitHub page, and uh, yeah. So the only requirements is you have to have full installation of Tickle um, and OpenSeas in that full Tickle installation. Um, just the OpenSeas Tickle that comes with. Uh, the download from uh, UC Berkeley is not enough, um, at least at this point, um, at the time of filming this video. And uh, you also have to have MS MPI installed, uh, Tiggle MPI installed, and OpenSeas MPI installed. And so I'm just going to walk you through the last three steps here. Um, I have a previous video which uh, goes through the installation of Tickle and OpenSeas, so I'm not going to rehash that here. All right, so here I am at the Microsoft MPI GitHub release page. Um, so as you can see here, uh, this is the most recent version. And so all you need is the msmpi setup.exe. Uh, you don't need the SDK uh, MSI right here. This is for if you're actually developing parallel uh, programs. So this is just if you want to run parallel programs. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to run it really quick and it should be pretty quick there you go so now I can run parallel programs on my computer all right, so next I'm going to install Tickle MPI. So here I am at the GitHub release page for Tickle MPI. And uh, all you need to do is download the Windows installer here. And 
you might flag it because it's a relatively new software. So um, just ignore the warnings here. Um, and, uh, to run it here, you can click more info and run anyway. So uh, it's a default location. I'll just keep it there. It's fine. Um, there we go. And then the next thing is to go to the OpenSeas MPI releases um, and download the uh, setup for that. Uh, it's also going to flag it. And same thing, run anyways. It'll guide you right through the installation here. Um, it'll add OpenSeas MPI to the path. And uh, that's all That's all you need to do. And so now you should be able to run OpenSeas MPI. Uh, so here I am in Notepad++. I have a couple little example files here. Um, hello world and a roll call. So hello world just displays what the processor ID and the number of processes are and roll call passes the attendance or the processes uh, between all, all of the individual parallel processes. So um, I'm just going to open up a command window in this location and uh, run OpenSeas MPI and let's just do five hello world uh, TCL. And there we go. Um, we have them are kind of all in random order um, and it's running all five of them. Um, I'm also going to do the roll call one. Open C's MPI and uh, say three and uh, yeah, we'll just do five again. Uh, roll call dot TCL. And so there you go. There's the attendance zero, one, two, three, four. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, you can use OpenSeas MPI to run uh, parametric studies in parallel. Um, you can either just divvy up the tasks using um, a Medulo method. Um, that's where you uh, basically assign a task by doing taking the uh, remainder after division, seeing if it matches with the processor ID. Um, or you can develop some load sharing technique uh, between processes and have like a master process or a main process that distributes the uh, tasks to different workers. So yeah, uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, just drop it in the comments. Have a great day.